All right. With that, uh, I'd like to call the uh, delegation uh, to order. And uh, the business before us today is with the county treasurer. And if you would proceed, sir. Mark. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance, uh, Representative McCarthy, if you lead us, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Paul. Those are for you having a heart attack, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, we're just going to proceed with this one. This one, right. Jerry, welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry to be late. I had a question from Representative Unberger about minutes from the last meeting. Um, I intend on taking that up uh, at our meeting, which will be the 12th of this month, which will be the next full delegation meeting. So, with that, Treasurer Casello, do you have an item for our consideration? Um, yes, sir. Um, I'm concerned about um, the ability to uh, continue um, paying our obligations at the moment. Um, also, making sure that we get our TAN in place in a reasonable period of time uh, so the county will not experience any cash flow issues. A um, couple of potential <coughs> solutions, um, one of which would possibly be a, uh, a continued uh, resolution uh, from January 1st to whether it be March 31st or something to allow us to uh, continue the operations. Um, potentially, I, I don't know if we can do it this year or not, but maybe we need to take a look at uh, adjusting our um, fiscal year uh, because it occurs to me that uh, each year now, um, at the beginning of the year, um, we're continuing to uh, pay bills and so forth um, without the use of a tax anticipation note, but also without the approvals um, from both the delegation um, and, and the uh, commissioners because the commission should the delegation's approval also. The other piece of this um, that concerns me is they need an approved budget to hand to our um, lending institution to move forward with our tax anticipation. Um, and while well, that budget has not been approved at this point, it's difficult to move forward with tax anticipation. It's kind of at the same time uh, not faulting the banks, but the banks yeah. don't move as quickly as they used to. <coughs> Um, so I don't want us, again, to get into a cash flow crunch. Uh, it takes a period of time to get this uh, approved. Thank you. Uh, it's my understanding that we were meeting today to, um, to give you the authority to move forward with the TAN. Do you have a document prepared for us for that? Please represent, or excuse me, uh, Administrator. So in order for, you, for us to come forward with a TAN, it needs to be noticed in the paper, a request for TAN. Um, which, which is my understanding, if I could, which was the seven-day notice that we just posted for this. No, it's, it's not acceptable. I, uh, I, the, we will adjourn for uh, five minutes. Delegation is in recess. So they didn't have to go through too many pages to find it. All right, we'll come back from recess. Um, I'd like to, uh, as a sign-up sheet mandatory, um, I'd just like to answer a couple of uh, the uh, questions um, that were posed to us by the treasurer, um, and uh, especially your question on the uh, needing a, um, a, a budget for next year to show the uh, banks I'm glad we're getting some more information from you than we have previously from other treasurers, so thank you for that. Um, I will say uh, in our December meeting, this issue was brought up by uh, uh, Mr. Robichaud, and it was the will of the delegation to uh, not take up the matter then, but to take it up in February. In f 
and we traditionally would meet in February because in February we would have the um, year-end numbers from the uh, from the business office. Um, and I had made a statement to the administrator and to the commissioners that we would um, conclude our we would not uh, hold a delegation meeting until the final numbers were in. Uh, if I look back at correspondences of 2017, uh, which had similar issues that we were talking about, um, that uh, at that time looking to process an $18 million TAN, and that the uh, year-end numbers were complete at that time. So the reason we didn't meet in February was I could not give you what you needed, which was the end-of-the-year budget, because the, the year-end numbers had not been given to us now. We had, a, we had a subcommittee meeting here um, earlier. What day were we here? This Monday? Monday? Yeah. And this Monday, uh, the end of the month, then we were told that the year-end numbers were here. So it's our intent to meet on the uh, 12th um, for the budget. And um, that leaves us time. If there's a snow date, which would be the 19th, it leaves us the following week which is always the traditional time frame that this activity takes place. Um, I apologize uh, for leaving the room for a moment so I could uh, collect uh, some information. Um, and it was the intent when I brought this body together today was that we were going to give the authorization uh, to approve the TANs uh, so that you had your ability to move forward whether we'd held you up for a week or on that or not. Um, so uh, now I'm finding out that is not the case and that we will have to uh, handle that part of the process at the 12th. So with that, Ken, would you please tell me what it is that you are looking for authorization or Madam Chairman? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the commissioners... Uh, before I do, yes, I apologize. Sure. I had held up uh, Representative McCarthy with a question. Actually, I have three questions, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm confused. By law, TANs are based on the previous year's budget, not the, the current budget. Why would a bank want the current year's budget when a TAN is based on the previous year? So there's nothing in the laws about that. There's nothing in the law that requires a budget to be done before the TAN is taken out. All it, the only stipulation is it can only amount to 80% of the previous year's budget. It's based on the previous year's. The, the other question is... Why don't, that, why don't we handle one at a time, Representative okay. McCarthy? Yeah, I, I appreciate that, Representative McCarthy. Um, it's the request directly from the lending institution. They would like to see the current year's budget. Follow-up question, Representative? Yes, I'd I go to a different yes. lending institute. Um, two, um, how, why, how have you been able to, have you changed the lending institute recently? No. No. Well, why hasn't this ever come up in the last eight years that I've been here? That's, every year we, that I've been here, I've only been here one full year, uh, the lending institution has requested the current year's budget. That's approved. Now, I can't speak to previous. Well, okay. Thank you. Follow-up uh, question, or and it, The third one is not really a question, but I would like to mention, you mentioned moving the fiscal year, and that's a, a very easy proposition. And we've already done, we did it this year for one of the counties, and it, it goes through my committee. What, what happens is you have to make up a budget for uh, 18 months, a year and a half. And then you go on to the new fiscal year, and uh, it, it would do away with all of these problems. Uh, thank you. Uh, Representative Cordelli. Yes, thank you. Um, I, I think that that should be a totally separate discussion because there are taxpayer implications to doing that. So, you know, I would request that we move on to the business at hand. Sure. Thank you. If I may, yes, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Treasurer. I, I, I guess one of my major concerns at the moment is it appears to me, and I may be incorrect here, but it appears to me that we're operating fiscally without any approvals uh, from the delegation. And so I just want to make sure that we're doing everything that we're supposed to be doing going forward. 
again, I can't speak to what's happened in the past. Um, yes, I'm new at this. I hope I'm not missing something. But it does occur to me that, that uh, perhaps we don't have approvals to do what we're doing. Uh, practice, past practice and policy has been the way it is right now, and uh, I don't see that being any different. We're happy to work with you. We're happy to provide you with any tools that you need, and uh, we are not under the impression that you were spending without our authority. Okay. Excellent. So can we now return to what it is the commissioners require of the delegation what today? What do think they <laughs> Yes, sir. Um, so I apologize for um, all of this, but the commissioners are requesting a continuing resolution from January 1st until the budget has been approved and adopted by the county delegation. Basically, the, the January, February, March uh, appropriations that you vote and say yes that, that, that you, we are able to operate. Get that writing for us, Representative Bumberger. I am not even considering approving a continuing resolution unless I know the dollar value. Sorry. If they are, you know, if it just basically I need to know how much money they think they need. It's, you know, we're, we're spending the same amount as we had last year. We are not implementing any new programs, we're not signing any new contracts, so they must have a dollar value that they can give us and not just some, I am not. Treasurer, uh, Administrator, do you have an answer to that? Yeah, I'd, I'd say uh, we're not spending any more than, than we did. The, th the, the three quarters last year. If I don't have a dollar value, I'm not a Okay. Does the treasurer have an idea of what that amount would be? Uh, excuse me, so that I understand this, um, Mr. Chairman, um, and ask a question. Certainly. Um, the dollar figure you're looking for is for the quarter? That's first quarter. First quarter? You're asking us, not you. Yes. Someone who is asking us for an approval to go forward and spend money. So I need to know how much. And when I get that figure, then I probably would approve it. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's a requirement. But we just need to know how much of the total budget that you have proposed is taken care of with this continuing resolution. So if you need time to figure it out. If you need time to recess to come up with that, I'm yep, perfectly sir. fine with that. Representative, come on. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We should know, I mean, the bills that are coming in for this year are going to be a recurring bill that we know of. So we should very easily be able to recess, have you print out the amount and come up with something in writing so we know what we're authorizing. That should be simple. Right. Representative McCarthy. Uh, I'd just like to mention that uh, if I'm lucky enough to get reelected, if I run again, I'm going to put a bill in that will make it unlawful for a bank to require a current year's budget to get a tan. Thank you. Representative Bucco. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Are we, are we asking for 25% of the previous budget, last year's budget? I don't, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know how much they're looking for. That would seem to be, that would seem to be what they're looking for. Right, right. Representative Marsh. Uh, Representative Camo said precisely what I intended to say. I don't need to repeat it. I would also like to say that I think it would be appropriate for us to request uh, the uh, administrator to prepare a proposal so that we don't have a fiasco like this going forward next year. For instance, to change our uh, uh, budget here, like Rockingham County. So whether we prepare a proposal does not mean we need to approve the proposal. We just have something to look at. Okay. Thank you. If, yes, Representative Umberg. Yes. Um, if uh, the uh, business office has prepared the uh, spending for last year and it is available, it would be nice while they go figure out how much money we need that we could have copies of that so we could look at it. Sure. 
So I, I believe the question is, do you have uh, in, in format as of today the end of year numbers for, and could we get those copied and distributed to the delegation? They're already here. Could we get copies made while you... No, they're already here. All the copies are done. Oh, okay. Would you mind just distributing them? Sure. Please. Yes, Representative Nelson. Is there a difference in pay cycles compared to last year? You know, an extra pay the first quarter of this year versus the first quarter of March. Quarter last year, an extra week in the No, they all run in March. We did one in March when I went to the And are there, are there, is there a list of encumbrances that still haven't been paid or that are still out there as we've been provided for in past years? Uh, yes. Go ahead. Can that be distributed today? Sure. Thank you. Joe, would you like some time to uh, prepare that? Yes, I would, please. Okay. Uh, half hour's time? How much time do you think you need? Plenty of time. Yeah, I think that time is going to be plenty of time. How much? Ten minutes or what? Probably 15 at the most. Okay. Committee's in recess for 15 minutes. <coughs>
Uh, nothing in this section shall be deemed or construed as authority to exceed appropriations made by the county convention. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. So uh, that just reference, please? RSA 28. Eight or eight? Eight. 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 And just for my uh, for a question for the treasurer, uh, is this the first time that you've appeared um, in this year before us on this matter? Uh, I was under the impression we had met previously with you. Um, we met in December. I was here at the delegation meeting. Yeah. But I think this is the first time we've met face to face on this. Okay. So. Um, so you're appearing before the delegation is prescribed by the RSAs, and um, I believe the question of the delegation was for what amount of money uh, that you were looking for our authorization for. And it would appear uh, by the court, by looking at last year's numbers, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that you would be looking for authorization to spend no more than six million nine hundred ninety-four thousand six hundred and eight six hundred eight cents. That would be correct for the first quarter of this year. Okay. Now, that runs through to March thirty-first, and it's my understanding that. Uh, in the interim, that when I look at my uh, remaining balance in, uh, in the account for this year, uh, that there is um, nearly $1.6 million in the remaining balance. I'm sorry, when you say the remaining balance in the deposit account? I, I would know about deposits. On expenditures, I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe that's correct. So, if if I could, that is the that is the request by yourself as the treasurer. Yes, that is. Okay. Um, I move we pass that request. Uh, motion motion made by um, by. Knurk. I'm sorry, <laughs> Representative Knurk. I'm looking to the clerk. That's okay. I'll uh, second that for you. How much? Yes. So it'll be seconded by Representative Avalani and. Just want to give the clerk a moment to catch up with where we're at. Six nine nine four six hundred and eight cents. Eight cents right. And you uh, said um, there was how much in the account currently? I didn't get that number. Um, I don't know about the account. I, when, I, when I look at their expenditures that were given to us year-end expenditures for 2017, it shows um, a remaining balance of one million five hundred eighty-one thousand. One ninety. Thank you. So, so, a request has been made by the treasurer. It was moved and seconded. Discussion. Representative Cordelli and then McCarthy. Thank you. Um, uh, I'm just wondering about the need. Um, I think Representative Umberger mentioned it previously that um, this authorization or continuing resolution or uh, approval anyway, um, based on last year's budget, would include no new programs, um, and I would add no new staff um, as well. And um, I'm uh, a pleasure of the delegation, but I, I would like to see that added to the motion. So it's it's the pleasure of the representative to amend the motion to read. Um, no new programs will be started, no new hires. Was that right. it? Uh, if I could, uh, I'll not second. hires, but new positions. Yeah, exactly. New yeah, positions. Yeah, so, so. I'll second. That's what Thank you. Seconded by Representative Umberger. Discussion. Representative Marsh. Uh, I'm not sure it's appropriate to put another amendment on the table at the same time, but I would also like the motion to read that it is the opinion of the delegation that our reading of RSA 298 is that our approval of this motion is not required at this point in time. I think you can make that comment without needing to amend it. Right. But it's more official if we put it in the motion. And uh, we can have a second motion. Yeah. That's that's second motion. That's, yeah. Let's not, keep, keep it clean. Let's not get too far off. Representative McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <coughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, if I'm hearing correctly, and that's a problem sometimes, there's <laughs> um, $1.7 million that is still left in deposit that hasn't been used from previous years. 
I don't know why we're going to have to go to the full six hundred six million uh, for the quarter. Um, why don't we use the money that we already have instead of borrowing more um, and 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 uh, make it five million? Thank, thank you, thank you, Reg McCarthy. The uh, just. We're not borrowing at this point in time, and I believe that some of the essential services that they're needing to do now are being handled in that in that manner, payroll and so forth. I I don't. We're, we're they're not borrowing at this point, so I think it'd be simpler and cleaner just to leave it where it is up to the quarter, unless the unless the pleasure of the delegations to do differently. Representative Kinner can now come back. Just to speak to the motion, the motion was not about borrowing. The motion is authorizing them to spend this much. Whether it comes from the 1.7 or from the borrowing, it would be fiscally imprudent to go borrow the money if you have the money there, obviously. So, but this is just, the motion is only about spending money, not borrowing money. Representative McCarthy? Are you uh, okay I don't know how that? we're going to spend $6 million if we've only got 1.7 in the bank without borrowing. Well, they, they, as, as I understand, Representative McCarthy, uh, which I was under the impression it happened the seven-day notice today so that we could approve the TAN, uh, which didn't happen. That will happen on the 12th. So at that point in time, we'll be uh, permitting them to move forward to process the TAN. Representative Umberg. Uh, yes, I just want to express that this is only the money from 2017. This does not include the remaining or however much is in the fund balance. Okay, so this one point, whatever it is, is just for 17. And then there is some other amount of money in the fund balance. And uh, I don't think that uh, the, uh, obviously they must have money in the fund balance to cover this. Because they didn't provide us with the request for TANS today. McCarthy. I, I've got to assume that they had a great deal of money in the fund balance on mm -hmm. the first of the year, but they've already paid the debts <coughs> for almost two full months, and they still have 1.7 million in the fund balance. So um, we don't know. That would, that, would be the, that would be their business. Yeah. Representative Avalon. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would be interested in knowing what the fund balance is up until uh, 2017. At the end. At the end. At the, actually, to the beginning, because 17 hasn't been audited, so we don't have that final number. But what, what was left over 15 and 16, and what would be in that fund balance at this particular moment? So your, re your request uh, is to uh, the commissioners? Actually, to the treasurer. Or to the treasurer? Whomever, yeah. whomever can answer that question for me. Representative and then I'll come back to you. Yeah. Just how much is in the fund balance is not a question that needs to be answered to approve this. Correct. It's a different question. And so I would just ask that we wait on that question until the 12th. But in the meantime, that the chairman could ask. That well, I believe we, I believe we're asking that point. That we we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait until after the. I will be withdraw my question. Mr. Okay. Thank you, Representative. I move the question. I can't move the question in the committee. That's that's fine. Thank you. I, I believe we're ready to vote. Yeah, yeah, get out there. We're ready to vote. Could we hear back from the Sure. Yeah, uh, the amendment first. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, we, you got that in? The motion as amended. So we have read 29 uh, 8 into the record. And um, this motion is the request for the authorization for the uh, a continuing resolution to spend. Um, the amount of six million nine hundred ninety-four thousand six hundred dollars and eight cents through March thirty-first, eighteen. And then there was amended to that to say, and no new programs or positions uh, will be added uh, uh, at this time. Is that clear enough? Yes, it's good. All right. Does everyone understand the motion and as amended? Mm -hmm. No. No. Oh. 
Okay, we can, we can um, uh, if you're in favor of the amendment uh, as presented, signify by saying aye. Aye. If you're opposed, signify by saying nay. No. Um, so we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So ten in favor and one against. Thank you. So now we'll go to the motion. The motion as amended. Um, if you're in favor of the motion as amended... I think we should do a roll call. Okay, thank you. And, uh, Mr. Administrator, do you have a roll call sheet? I believe Cheryl gave you some. I do. Well, it's thank you. That works. <laughs> so the amendment has the motion as amended by Representative Knurt, seconded by Representative Avalani, as stated. Um, uh, Representative Avalani? Yes. Um, Representative Bucco? Yes. Representative Butler? Yes. Representative Chandler is not here. Representative Camo? Yes. Representative Cordelli? Yes. Representative Crawford is not here. Representative Damaris is not here. Representative Knurk? Yes. Representative Marsh? Yes. Representative McCart McCarthy? As amended, yes. Representative Nelson? Yes. Representative Schmidt is not here. Representative Umberger? Yes. And Representative uh, McConkey? Yes. So that is uh, 11 in favor, unanimous. Okay. And with that, uh, Mr. Treasurer, I believe you have the authority to do uh, your business. Thank you. Yes, we have to go on convention. All right. Any, um, so we will now move to go in. Uh, Representative Knurk moves to go into motion, seconded Second. by Representative Marsh. We are, uh, all those in favor of going to convention, signify by saying aye. 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 We're now in convention. So I would just like to represent Bumber. Yes, I move that uh, we approve the motion for the um, spending. As amended. That we approve, previously had approved. Okay, so uh, second, Mr. Chairman. Seconded by Rep. Avalai. Is everyone aware of the motion? If you're in favor of the motion, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Uh, show that the motion was passed unanimously. Uh, motion made by Representative Umberger to come out of convention, <laughs> seconded by Representative McCarthy. Um, if you're in favor of that, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The motion is unanimous. Um, delegation is out of convention. Um, and I believe that is. Um, yes, any other questions? <coughs> Representative Avalon. Oh, no. no. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Will there be any public comment in, during this meeting? Um, we typically would handle it at this point in time, so sure. Thank you. Thank you for taking that. Let me look around. Uh, Mr. Damon from the Conway Sun, please. Um, so if you're an employee and you're hired, say, after the first quarter of last year, would your salary be included in this continuing resolution? Well, I didn't really follow what new position means. There, there are, if I, I'll start, and then if I, if I need more clarification uh, from the delegation, I'll be happy to take it. But, in this, this this coming year's budget, there are proposals for new positions. Okay. And um, I don't believe those hires have happened at this point in time. And the resolution was you have the ability to spend the money as you normally would. And we'd ask that they not start any new programs until the budget had been uh, adopted. I guess what I was saying is if something started in the second quarter or the third quarter of last year, it wouldn't be, in, it wouldn't have been part of the first quarter's spending, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's not an issue. They, they, okay. have, they have the money to pay their obligations. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other public comment? Yes, please. <laughs> I want to ask a question. Yes. Uh, this was in regard to the HB1542 uh, one and how it was voted to ITL. Uh, Which bill this has been an agenda that's been going on for a very long time. Uh, excuse, excuse me, if I could just hold you back. We hear a lot of numbers. Just tell me the, the basis uh, of the bill. 
the right right. to carry on college campuses and okay. universities yes. public. Yep. This has been an agenda that's going on a long time. And it's really to dishonor the entire world. I, I want to look at this from a natural law perspective that was instituted well before anything anybody could do at the State House. If you have animals in your care, do you not provide for them a shelter, a feed, and to keep them away from danger? But if you would put them out into the open woods or the fields, away from their, the care of their parent, would you expect them to be able to have safety? Could you justly look them in the eye and not get questioned as to, well, my, I trusted you to care for me, to watch over for me. And it seems though we, we can vote away our natural rights to self-preservation that God gave us, whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. But we do have that right in nature. And I think it's absurd that this continues. We can't be voting away another person's rights. It's wrong for me to say that you can't do something to protect yourself. It's absurd. Nature has that right. This goes on and on. And you know, there's a small group of people in this world that have all the money and believe they own the earth. And don't you think they have enough money to buy any kind of condition or scenario that they choose for us to feed on and to react to and get emotional about? It's time people started to wake up to what's really going on here. Because the way things are being legislated, you're in it too. And you will pay the price. You've got to smarten up. I don't like going down in a sinking ship and everybody else is oblivious to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Any other? Um, Representative Umberger. Yes, I was just looking at this encumbrance list. Yes. And it says elderly housing feasibility study. We did not authorize that money. And I don't think that the executive committee transferred $10,000 into this account, unless I'm very mistaken. So I'm not exactly sure how they could encumber $10,000 that didn't exist. Uh, Ken, is that a question or the treasurer that you could answer for the representative? I think it. it I think the uh, chairman of the commission should answer this. Uh, excuse me. Don't don't we don't we have two commissioners here? Yes. yes. Commissioner Babson, would it be possible for you to join the uh, table? I am not here as a member of the public, Mr. Chairman. You're not here as a commissioner. No. Well, that's an interesting position. Thank you for that. It's my privilege. Thank you. To answer that question. I, could I back up a moment? Is this, this a properly noticed delegation meeting? Yep. I was under the impression it was. Go, go right ahead, Representative uh, Commissioner. Um, the money was taken from the Mountain View Home Budget. and earmarked for a feasibility study last year. And then it was encumbered uh, January 1st. If, 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 I could, if, I could, if I could just interrupt for a moment. Hasn't this process gotten to a point that the commissioners now are not supporting uh, the proposal for $10,000? I think we can save a lot of banks here. At this right? time, they are not. But it was never approved to move the ten thousand. That's all. The delegation had right. never approved the, right. the oh. expense. I, I believe um, request for uh, a request had gone out an RFQ uh, that had been returned, um, and my understanding in recent history within the last couple weeks 
is that the commissioners are not moving forward with that proposal at this time. They have rejected it. Proposal. And I'm not moving forward with that proposal. Okay. That so, correct. so there, there. If you could get back to us, I would expect as, and I would agree with the position of Representative Unberger, that there should not be an encumbrance listed in here because it was never the appropriation was never approved. Thank you, Representative McCarthy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> I, uh, I think it's irrelevant whether or not it is still on the books and whether they're still thinking about it or not thinking about it. I think what is relevant is that they violated the law by transferring money without permission. They moved it from one appropriation. And not only that, according to the law, only the delegation has the authority to make an appropriation. They not only transferred it, they made the appropriation to transfer it too. And then they get... They, they're getting a free hand. Oh, we did that, but it was against the law, but we're not going to do it now. I just don't understand how they get away with it. Representative McCarthy, thank you for your comment. And um, I would agree with your statement. Um, I, I also uh, was going to make a similar comment, so um, it is no longer necessary, as I agree with Representative McCarthy as well. Right. Any further question, comment? Yeah, I'd like to know where it came from. Representative Avalani is recognized. Um, I'd like to know what account number the ten thousand dollars came out of from the nursing home. It, it didn't come out of the nursing home. But it, I misspoke. I'm sorry. It's the old nursing home, the annex. So, like, sixty-four thousand yes, dollars was appropriated for a capital project, a to replace a new boiler. We came to the delegation and said we weren't going to replace the boiler. We were going to uh, put in an ozone system. Uh, from what we got out of that meeting was, it's up to you, whatever you want to put in there, go ahead. Um, and we, we did put that system in, uh, and um, because it was a capital project, uh, the feasibility study was a capital project, uh, the commissioners um, appropriated 10000 of that capital project for another capital project. That has not moved anywhere, it has not gone anywhere. Um, at this point, uh, it, it, it's not going anywhere. So, if, if I could just follow up on your comment, I know you're, you're working on the fly here. When uh, when we appropriated monies for the ozone, um, it was not. And I'd love to see it in writing that said, "Hey, go ahead and spend any other money you want." That was no, that's the, not pur that. the purpose. The purpose was for the ozone. No, no, it wasn't. The purpose was for to replace the sixty-four thousand dollar boiler, right? And we, we found a better way of, of doing it for a lot less money. That's perfectly fine. Yep. But I, in following that, when your comment that figured we could spend the remainder because we only spent how much for the ozone? So sixteen thousand, and, and I didn't say that. I said when we came to the delegation, you didn't care what we put in this place, and that that was up to, to the commission. That was from Representative Bumbroker. But I, but I, but I wouldn't suspect that that would then lead the liberty to take another ten thousand dollars for a study. You'd have to, you have to talk to the commissioners on that. Well, we are. We are. I, I, I'm talking to one of the commissioners. I have two commissioners in the room, but I'm talking to one commissioner. And if you could follow through on that for us, the that capital, would be helpful. The feasibility study is considered a capital. Well, so yes. It's the commissioner's position that that was capital and that you could spend that money for a project that you had not received approval for. And we checked with the auditors. And we checked with the DRA the and, we, and we checked with the auditors. So. And they verified that that was an exception. Yeah, capital is a capital. A feasibility study is definitely a capital project. Well, I'm sure we're going to come to a difference of opinion, but the good news is. The commissioners are not right. moving forward with that exactly. proposal. Representative, I'm going to come down the line. Representative Marsh. Yes, I would like to point out that what we actually appropriated was 64, uh, I believe it's the other one, might be uh, $64,000 from line item uh, 100.940.098. And uh, as far as DRA is concerned, uh, uh, that line item is what the money was appropriated for. Uh, and we're not the, the line item that we appropriated in passing the budget did not 
necessarily a further detail beyond the fact that it was a specific line item. And I believe that the commissioners are contending that insofar as that this did not involve a transfer from one line item to another line item, that it did not technically violate the law, which the my fellow representatives are referring to. And while I agree that it is inappropriate that they decide to spend money on something without coming to us, I don't believe that they technically violated the law. If I, I, I believe it's when, when we're in Concord and we're not to mention that aforementioned group that resides behind the wall and knowing what their intention was, I would be hard pressed to ever guess what the intentions of this board of commissioners is. So thank you for your, your opinion. That is your opinion. Representative McCarthy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I vehemently disagree with the representative. The law states exceeding appropriations, no commissioner or department head elected or appointed shall spend or agree to spend any sum of money for which no appropriation exists. And I don't care what the DRA said. They might have said, yes, that's a capital thing, but did they give you specific permission to move money into it? I don't think they did because of that thing. I, I said they did. Okay, if, if, if the questions could be directed to myself. Um, and if the, uh, I, I would be interested in if the uh, commissioners could respond in writing that what was asked of DRA. I believe that would uh, resolve this and we can handle that on, on the 12th. Yeah, and the auditor. And the auditor. Yes. And um, we will, unless I hear any further discussion, um, Representative Bumberger. I'm going to move to adjourn. Representative Bumberger moves to adjourn. Is that seconded? Yes. Seconded by the clerk, <laughs> Representative Butler. If you're in favor of the motion, I'll signify by saying aye. 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 If you're opposed, nay. Thank you. The nursing home subcommittee will meet over at the nursing home in 15 minutes. At 11.30. Who is?